Are you heading to Legoland in Florida and wondering if adding the water park would be worth it? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over all of the attractions and take you all around the water park area to help you decide if it would be worth it for you and your family. So let's get into it. The Legoland Water Park is a separate add-on attraction of Legoland Florida and is located in the very back of Legoland. There is currently no outside entrance to the Legoland Water Park, so if you do want to visit, the only way is by visiting the park and adding it on to your day ticket to Legoland. The cost of adding the water park is $25 per person and you can add it on while buying your tickets online or you can even add it to your day while you're at the park. When you first walk in, you'll walk through this breezeway that includes lockers that are $15 for the day and uses a secure keyless system. There is also a small surf shop in here, so if you forgot your swimsuit or sunscreen or any other essentials, you could probably find it in here. The first attraction that you'll come across in the park is the Duplo Splash Safari, where you and the tots can dip in with a bunch of Duplo animals that include penguins and elephants. Right next to the Duplo Splash Safari is the Build-A-Raft, where you can build your own Lego vessels and float around their thousand foot long lazy river. There is a twist to this lazy river. All along the way, there are these bricks that you can pick up and add on to the top of your vessel. And I was able to spy a few rafts that did have the building platform on them where you can add your bricks. Either way, it still looks like a beautiful, fun way to spend the day. If you head down the walkway, the next area that you'll come across is the Lego Wave Pool and Joker Soaker. The Joker Soaker is this awesome interactive play area that is filled with slides, climbing areas, water spouts, and a wading pool. This awesome play area features five slides, a number of different spouts, and hidden dumps that will surprise you and your kids when you're not looking. One of the best parts about this Joker Soaker is that every two minutes, this giant bucket will dump over 300 gallons of water over everyone inside. And by the way, if you are finding this information helpful, I would love it if you could hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to see more ideas like this to do during your Florida vacation. I release a new video every week and the best way to be able to see them is by subscribing. Overall, the Joker Soaker is a really fun area and definitely one that you and the kids will have a lot of fun exploring. Just a short walk from the Joker Soaker is the Lego Wave Pool, where you can catch some waves or even just cool off. The waves are just big enough and very gentle, plus there's several of these islands across the pool where the kids can come together and play with a few bricks and create some amazing builds as they swim. If your kids are more of a builder than they are a swimmer, then the Legoland Water Park also has a build-a-boat attraction that is really fun. In this area, you can get the chance to build and race your own boat against others as they float down this furious river to see which one makes it to the end. Right next to the Build-A-Boat section is the Imagination Station, and here the kids can create fun builds or just play around with the Lego water guns. There is a pedal down here that controls the water, and it was pretty fun to try to aim them towards these propellers. If you have bigger kids that are looking for bigger slides, then you'll want to head over to the Twin Chasers that you'll find in the back of the park. On these slides, you can ride tubes down 375 feet of an intertwining pair of enclosed water slides before plunging into the water below. You do have to carry the tubes up with you to the top of the slide, but it looks well worth it. If these two slides are not enough throw for you, then you're in luck because there are a couple of splash out slides where you can ascend to the tallest point of the water park and then choose one of three unique slides to speed down a 60 foot drop and splash into the water below. And just in case you were wondering, there is also plenty of seating and umbrellas for shade all throughout the water park. 
The main bulk of the chairs and umbrellas are going to be near the wave pool and the joker soaker. But if you want something a bit more private, you can always rent one of these cabanas. The cabanas start at $99.99 plus tax, but the rates vary depending on the season that you go. If you do want to rent a cabana, you get two souvenir towels, a personal safe to keep your things in, a mini fridge stocked with 10 bottles of water, two recliner chairs, two regular chairs, and your very own cabana host. If you do end up staying the majority of the day in the water park, there are several snack and food shops sprinkled throughout the park, like the Beach Street Tacos located over by the wave pool, the Raft River Icy by the Lazy River, and the Beach and Brick Bar and Grill near the entrance of the park. If you're looking for even more fun ways to cool off in the Florida sun, then you're going to want to check out my video on Wiki Wachee Springs that just popped up on the screen. Not only does this amazing spring have crystal clear water and a water slides, but they also have a live mermaid show that happens daily. Until next time, everyone, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.